Hello everyone. Welcome to question seven. So we were solving all the questions from BASDS sample paper, right? And we have reached question seven. Question one, two, three, four, five, six have been uploaded earlier. So if you have any doubts there, please look into that video. Now for question seven, again, as I told you in a exam that is supposed to be difficult, not all of the questions are going to be difficult, right? There are going to be some easy questions and you have to grab them with both hands all right so if there is a full toss you got to hit it out of the park same logic so this question is quite easy you have to find a possible value of lambda that will satisfy these equations all right sorry that will satisfy the condition that is given with this set of equations which is infinitely many solutions now infinitely many solution means you have to take the coefficient matrix get the determinant and set it to zero all right i hope you remember the conditions for solutions so determinant a right so if let us consider the coefficient matrix so building the coefficient matrix you just take the value of the coefficients name it a so that will be one uh, let us make it column wise i can see one one lambda and then i have minus two lambda minus two minus two then i have one lambda one and then i have let us ignore that so if we ignore the coefficients uh sorry if we ignore the constants which we are supposed to do we are just supposed to check the coefficient matrix right so if we are supposed to change the coefficient matrix then we have the values with now we have to check the determinant of this so the determinant of this should be equals to zero. If it is equals to zero, then there are infinite number of solutions. If the determinant equal to any non-zero real number, then the system can have a unique solution. All right. So let us check the solutions. It's quite easy. So we have to calculate determinant of A equal to zero. This is the equation that we're supposed to make. So determinant A would be, let us keep the matrices intact and i'll have one into sorry this will be determinant one into determinant of minus two lambda minus two one plus i have minus two lambda this will be multiplied by lambda one one lambda and then i have one into one minus two lambda minus two all right this should be equal to zero now we solve this large equation so this will be one one is basically no need for multiplying so this will be minus two minus two lambda minus two lambda into lambda square minus one plus minus 2 minus 2 lambda right same thing again so then again we have here so if i calculate all of these uh, let us cancel the two so i have minus 1 minus lambda minus lambda into lambda square minus 1 minus 1 minus lambda equal to 0 so accumulating these i have let us remove the negative sign also so i have 2 plus 2 lambda plus lambda into lambda square minus 1 equal to 0. Right? Now you just got to check for which value of lambda will this equation be satisfied. Okay? This is a competitive exam. You don't need to solve this quality equation. You can, but you may not. Just check the values. I have minus 2, minus 1, 1, and 2 right so all the values from minus 2 to plus 2 excluding 0 these are the values that i have with me so what will i check i'll check minus 2 first but it doesn't look like minus 2 will satisfy right so can we check 1 so see the main factor we have to check is this portion should be 0 and this portion should also be 0 right so how do i make that portion 0 so lambda square minus 1 should be 0 so this is not any standard technique. We are just looking into the options, right? So lambda should be equal to plus minus one. That is 
the minimum that I have to go. Otherwise, if I put plus one, what will I get? It will be two plus two, four won't work, right? If I put minus one at lambda equal to minus one, what do I have? Two minus plus two into minus one, and that is zero. So what is this? Two minus two, zero. So lambda equal to minus one works, right? Done. See, we didn't have to solve the entire equation. We didn't have to get a cubic equation and then factorize it using factor theorem. You can do those in school exams, but this is not a school exam. This is a competitive exam. And this was an easy question. All right. So you have to take full advantage of it. Please make sure that you are not getting these questions wrong, as well as taking a lot of time in them, because time is also a factor. All right. So I'll end this particular video here. This was quite an easy question. I showed you a different way of doing it without solving the entire thing. Okay. I'll be ending the video here and we will all meet in question eight once again. All right.